Greetings, Krabja here, and this is Raid Shadow Legends. Once again, we are starting new account. This time, for the, uh, another challenge. This time, this challenge will be about not using any speed on our champions. Yeah, so we are at the beginning. Now, let's go through this campaign. Maybe not campaign, this is first battle with uh, school crusher as i remember so let's go now we got some another enemies that we need to beat with kale skill <laughs> and finally we we'll reach dragon and as i remember not sure if you remember also but the dragon first will deal with atol atol no Wait till Alhain. Yeah, I think that was a, that was a long time ago when I was starting the new account. Let's see, yeah, Alhain. Easy, everyone. Yeah, that was Alhain. <laughs> okay, um, and probably because of that, of this dragon move, we'll choose Alhain as a, our main champion just kidding um yeah because i never started a new account with alhain so this will be our main pick uh, so with no speed uh, challenge um, i'm choosing her because she's the fastest one 107 uh, speed um, in terms of her skills so what we get here so double potentially double attack because of the critical hit uh, a2 is uh, double hitter uh, so first attack one enemy then uh, all enemies um, yeah some crit chance increasing and a3 is double hitter on aoe great so that's our pick so her base speed is, is from the beginning 107 which is great so we should be faster the fastest uh, on the battlefield for a long time yeah so let me go through all the basics and we'll uh, see you a little bit later okay so i've completed first few moves of the arbiter guidance and we are on the um first reward set for new player players uh, so this will be a set of lifesteal gear with shaman as a final reward after 7 day login. Okay, so let's collect the boots and as I remember, and if it's still correct... Uh, what's that? Okay, we'll back to this. <laughs> so many pop-ups. Uh, so those boots are probably speed boots. Yeah. <laughs> That, those are very good boots, so you should probably not sell them, uh, as I will do in a second, uh, because uh, generally lifesteal and attack uh, HP and crit rate, that's something good. Uh, but on this account, we are not allowed to use them, them so we will be just selling all the um, gear with uh, speed as a main stat on uh, boots and uh, speed on the sub substats so that's what we'll be doing I hope on each uh, episode okay and uh, the most important um, yeah part here so let's use our promo code uh, I hope it's still available so according to uh, pool that I created some time ago uh, which uh, champion should I use so most of the uh, votes were uh, you guys who uh, choose uh, monkey I mean Sun Wukong so yeah so let's use it as I remember it was monkey king yeah still available okay so we got uh, 24 hour um, cooldown for the next promo code and we got our next champion so this will be Son Wukong great we are starting strong as once again so 
Sun Wukong is here, so he's Skinwalker, attack base champion, his base speed is 105, which is great. So we know that Alhain will be first and uh, Sun Wukong will be second in terms of turn order. We got some arena speed boost from Sun Wukong, so quickly take a look, so stun on A1, A2, A2. Two is uh, hit one enemy and ignore 50% of uh, defense. Yeah, uh, so this can be pretty uh, big smack, as I remember. Um, yeah, so surplus damage will uh, go to other um, champions, as I remember. So we can build uh, monkey very uh, high stat intensive in terms of attack to deal a lot of damage. And his uh, A3 is also hitting hard, but much. Uh, I think multipliers are a little bit lower. But here we are stealing all uh, buffs from all enemies and placing block uh, buffs, debuff on them for two turn. Also crazy um, passive, so he, he will revive uh, every uh, three um, turns. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so when, when anyone will uh, move three times on our side, on the enemy side, so uh, Sun Wukong will revive with 100% tour meter, which is great. So that this will be our main uh, weapon for most of the content. And Alhain probably will be our main uh, campaign farmer. Because, yeah, I think that that probably should be the approach. Uh, so what we are aiming uh, here as the next step after getting those two champions. So we we'll need to build uh, first uh, someone who will uh, help us uh, with tra training food to upgrade our champions. And then we will focus on one of the dungeon to get some gear uh, for them to gear them properly. Yeah, so we'll see uh, what I will figure out. Yeah, so let me do some work and we'll back later. Okay, yes, uh, a new account. So each new account will have this uh, tournament. So we are on the novice tournament screen. <laughs> As a top reward, uh, uh, there are some uh, four pieces of five star uh, rare um, artifacts for speed set. Yeah, as you probably see, even. Uh, game designers, uh, they think uh, you cannot handle this game without speed <laughs> and they are uh, giving you speed uh, even in the novice tournament. We'll see, we'll see how this will go. Okay, so I've got a few uh, more champs. Uh, the next mission here is to equip champion with six star, uh, uh, not six star, six artifacts. Let's go and see what is available because i've got some gear okay so first thing after getting new gear so what i will be doing is like primary speed nothing here substat speed you got something sell do not even look and how to sell and now we can uh, do something right so yeah what we, what we have here okay so we got some yeah, attack stuff. Um, I'm even thinking about using preset manager, so probably I will start with that. Uh, but for now, <clears throat> I will check uh, what I can do with what I get. So we need uh, six pieces. Uh, going back to preset manager, so yeah, probably I will start collecting like attack or defense or HP some uh, presets from the beginning and trying to maintain the best sets here so just for curiosity uh, point of view uh, if this will help me to manage this account a little bit better than my original one we'll see okay so that's the idea see you uh, see you a little bit later okay so i've noticed two things that i do not remember when i was um, playing from the beginning and the new account so first thing in the shop we got uh, limited special offers 
and here we got silver pack which is generally great so over the next five days you will be getting like two three four five seven million of silver which is huge generally uh, so now i've collected my fro from uh, the mailbox right because this will go to your uh, inbox uh, so i've got over two million of silver which is crazy i don't remember that that that's shocking and I, another thing that i've noticed uh, in terms of upgrading gear so if you go to the upgrade so this instant upgrade is uh, enabled right away so remember you had to go to level 40 or something just to get this you know uh, option available so now i can do just stuff like that which i remember was very painful just watching those <laughs> bars to, with upgrade um, to the new level crazy stuff okay so a lot of positive changes uh, from what i see so far uh, so let's take a look how i'm doing now it's very early a lot of pop-ups so that's crazy how many so what we need to do is put some uh, four xp brews in the tavern so let's upgrade our uh, san wukong a little bit so let's put two let's put four here and let's a little bit upgrade alhain let's put four here for a little bit power spike okay so what we get already so in the campaign we got uh, yeah, castle uh, complete on the free star uh, sewers of Arnok uh, also completed on free star so generally uh, Son Wukong and Alhain uh, so we'll be moving forward in the campaign amazing <laughs> okay see you later okay so we got some uh, upgrades we got new champions so we got hurler this one is from mystery shard so from the, the green one uh, we got conqueror this guy is from campaign uh, both yeah probably food uh, but finally we got alhain on level 30 um, after some training so time to upgrade her to level uh, 4 in terms of star okay uh, how to do that uh, so there are uh, some ways <laughs> how we can approach that uh, usually how i'm preparing my food during champion training i'm using for example one star uh, i'm not running one star uh, champions in campaign just uh, putting one uh, brew and three uh, one uh, level one champions generally that's the uh, I think optimal way to go uh, and upgrade to a star uh, two star rank okay so that's the for uh, one star champion so two star champions and as you probably see I've got Armiger <laughs> he's already uh, locked so yeah this generally this is legendary champion um, but whatever okay so now I'll be uh, we need to prepare one more or event two uh, three star champions to upgrade her because I don't want to sacrifice those two rares for now. Um, the reason is I will explain later or maybe in the next episode. Okay, so how we will approach that? Um, so first thing is to take a two star champion, put five right, but the five is the maximum that you can get. Uh, and remove one so this will show you that uh, you still need like uh, 6000 experience right so if you want to be super efficient so one brew will give you 18 almost 19 uh, thousand of xp which uh, putting five will be like a waste right so let's put uh, four and let's finish it with uh, one star champions Okay, another one, and we are ready. So, uh, four uh, brews and uh, four one-star champions. That's how I'm doing it. 
Okay, now let's upgrade to uh, rank rank three. Okay, let's talk those two guys. Okay, so we got another three star champion without running any campaign and stuff like that. Okay, uh, so to upgrade Alhain, we got uh, one, two, we got one more uh, to do. Let's check the Brokant. Okay, so now we can use the green one. Uh, so let's do the same. I've got some one stars also uh, in the other vaults. Uh, okay, so let's do this this way. So one, two, three, four, and four one star champions. Okay, so we got another guy. Okay, so maybe it's those two. And we got another three star champion. Okay, and that's enough. So we can now freely upgrade um, our, our, okay, she's here. Okay, let's remove this champion from arena. Yeah, so again, Alhain. Yeah, and we are sacrificing three uh, uncommon champions to do the upgrade. So yeah, we got a uh, champion on the four star level. Okay, so who will be our uh, first six star? I don't know yet. Uh, please let me know in the comments and we will see. And we are a few hours later. So let's check what's going on. Uh, we got some upgrades in the champions and we got a few decent pulls uh, from Mr. Shards. So, yeah, Apothecary on the account so early, day one, crazy. Uh, yeah, so from Green Shard, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, we also got uh, Spirit Host, uh, so Spirit Host is uh, from Campaign. Um, yeah, this guy is from the tournament and this from Campaign, so nothing amazing. Uh, let's check the vault. So here I'm collecting potentially useful champions. So we got here Armiger. Um, don't remember this guy. It's also okay. A shield guard, a Saurus. Uh, we also got one copy of Outlaw Monk. Uh, he will be at the beginning useful for um, yeah, clan boss and the one lord. Uh, content yeah so that's in terms of champions where we are uh, still monkey is not on the um, max level yeah it's really hard to get <laughs> max level cannot uh, burn my energy so energy is coming and coming uh, in terms of missions we are getting close to get this uh, 300 uh, gems which is great um, in terms of dungeons yeah i think it's uh, Dragon 4, probably 5, yeah, but uh, Ice Golem 5 is, is easy now, so let's run it, I still need a few rounds to do, to get some gear, maybe. So, very nice uh, synergy between uh, Elhain, but generally she's melting this uh, level, and Wukong, uh, they are different affinities, uh, which is great, so um, we should not have any issues with bad affinities because we got, I think, most of them covered in this scenario. Yeah, so Apotheker is getting some levels, that's great, and we'll be getting some, um, probably, ex uh, artifacts useful. Yeah, finally we get, we're getting some uh, four star, unfortunately this one is with speed, so auto sell, yeah, whatever. Okay, so that's where we are in terms of uh, blue shards, so we'll keep them, maybe we'll have some 2x uh, in, in short time, so that will be the plan to, to pull them during uh, 2x. And generally, that, that's the uh, end of day one, so please let me know what do you think. Uh, what do you think about those crazy pulls from Mr. Shards? <laughs> I mean, apothecary. <laughs> crazy. Uh, and see you in the next one. Cheers.